think healing needs to be nerfed. I think Brig needs to be deleted or reworked entirely. I think Sombra needs to be deleted or reworked entirely. I think Doomfist needs to be reworked or deleted entirely. Um, I think they need to make less tanks DPS and keep DPS characters to DPS characters. May needs to be reworked. Torb needs to be reworked. Moira needs to be reworked. So much is good now, actually. So much is proof that there's still hope in the game for characters like Mei and Moira and, and Torb and shit. What's wrong with Mei? Projectile spam with no damage fall off. It's just not very smart. No one enjoys that except for the Mei player. Uh, I just think she's like so overwhelming in certain aspects of healing. It's just like so weird. Like her right click should be aim. Shouldn't be just aim, aim in general direction. Her left click is just like foreheading heals everywhere. And healing is supposed to be like good, but it's overpowering and it takes no skill. An AOE. Mercy is okay because you t pick a target and shit. But Moira has like the lowest CD blink with survivability into fucking self heal orb and a right click that heals herself and deals damage. And you just hold left click and hear everything that the fucking mist touches. Yeah, I don't know why the fuck they removed May fall off. It's like literally no one wanted her to have no fall off damage. So stupid. <laughs> it's actually so dumb. <laughs> I don't know, with all the characters they introduce and having actual hit scan characters and high skill characters means that hit, hit scan characters are either going to be OP or bad. Any good hit scan players are always going to make hit scan good, but that means what if the characters are already good themselves? That means the hit scan players are good players on hit scan are going to make them overwhelming, which is unhealthy. With all the stupid forward fucking gaming characters that you can just do whatever the fuck you want on, it'll work and put you to GM. It's like. You can play Brig and do fucking forehead and mash your head on the keyboard. And then you can play McCree and do like fucking super try hard. You're a good character. Grind, grind, become a really good player and shit. So like, what if they buff McCree like hitscan too much? That means you're going to be too good when good players play them. And if they're not good play, like if they're not good enough, that means they're never going to be like good enough. Like either they're too strong with good players. Oh my God. Either they're too strong on good players or weak in general, you know? Pretty sad. The direction this game goes, they're always going to be underwhelming or overwhelming. There was a point in time where Overwatch meta wasn't entirely based around abusing mechanics that shouldn't rightfully be in the game, you know? There was always abusing some stupid interaction in the game. Yeah, Dive was the most balanced meta for sure. I think Hansa is stupid, but saying that Hansa doesn't require eyes or skill is pretty fucking dumb. We have like Moira doesn't require skill. Brig doesn't require skill. Doomfist is bullshit, but requires skill. Okay, uh, I can blade, really, in two seconds. Damage boost. Mercy. I'll make you think for you, I'm gonna body block. I think Mercy shouldn't have a res ability, so she definitely needs like a little bit of a rework. Less healing is a good start, but I don't think res should be in the game. It's always going to dictate rank meta in a certain direction because of double snipers being so powerful. And like, do I want, would I rather rework mercy, re now? like res or entirely rework one shot capabilities on any character, you know? Any pick potential in the game. All right, ready to do damages? Wait, no, pop transfers. They all, they have it, they have it. There it is. Okay, I'm gonna blade. Come on, Mercy. Mercy. Mercy low, Mercy one on point. Mercy's Actually, one Mercy. Mercy's low, Mercy dead. Bridge, bridge point. What about Hanzo Widow? Yeah, Hanzo Widow, both are snipers with one shot capabilities. Which, if Mercy has res, is always gonna dictate rank meta in a certain direction. His rest is just so fucking good. C9. C9. All games have a sniper character that character can go on shot. No, I know. But that's saying if there's a mercy and if there's an ability with res where one side that of the game, one team is nine. always dependent on winning a fight or they lose a point. That means mercy is always going to be a super valuable ultimate or a res mercy is always going to be super valuable to pick because of res. But yeah, about the Hanzo is I played Hanzo a fuck ton on initial days of rework. 
But yeah, he's really brain dead and boring now, so I don't like playing him anymore. I think they ruined the character, honestly. What's stopping Hitscan from reaching a middle ground? What causes it to be good or bad? Characters like D.Va, Doomfizz, Brig, Sombra. Yeah, if you watched me earlier seasons when the game was still a sh like a shooting game, and then now... The game's just getting worse and worse, so this is a game I invested all my time into. That's why. Any player. Well, most players actually quit the game. Oh my god, I got railed. Like, Hanzo isn't a brain dead, no skill hero. He's just nowhere near his high skill cap as before. Before, he was way more fun and interactive to play, and way harder to play. Now it's like, I've seen so many people in my games that used to be like low masters and like diamond that just start playing Hanzo and just reach 4.1, 4k. It's like stupid. So now I can't pick the character anymore because that means a 4k character, a 4k Hanzo in my game that is diamond and everything else can't play Hanzo, which means I can't play it. The thing is though, either the meta is basically dive or it's tire for just playing the poke game. Yeah, dive is way better, way better. But that's like the way they built the game, you know? Like that's, they have these characters in Overwatch that are either useless super situational or the only time they will ever be played semi-consistently is when you abuse the fact that they're absolutely fucking broken like may for a long time you know just brig and shit thing is if there was like any support for like pro feedback and shit the game could have gone a completely different direction people complain so much about brig so consistently and then it's been on ptr for so long with massive complaints and like memes about how fucking brain dead the character is even Overwatch League Twitter is tweeting like clips of their pro players just like laughing at how stupid the character is. Then she releases with no changes despite being on PTR for so long and not a single change was made. You think about it like this. It's good for the game for Overwatch League and competitive if you have like the stories of like Jonak, like this really, really good ladder Zen player. And you think they're gonna be like these really, really good Brig ladder players that like will get renowned as like, oh my God, this Brig is so good. And it's someone who wanted Brig only to like super high rank because of brain dead there's gonna be more players that can do it you know it's just like when they create a character that you can just literally un fucking remove all the keys from your key bind put keep your w key and find a fucking macro to space bar put the keyboard up in the air hold it with your hands and mash it on your forehead repeatedly while just fucking slamming mouse one and holding right click every now and then you can counter trace your players like this it's just yep something's wrong that character should not exist I think Doomfist is bullshit, but you have to be good at him to actually utilize it. So like, it doesn't piss me off that much. I don't really like, you know, mind it. I just like, I don't think the character, I don't, I don't think a character with that much forced movement should exist in this game. Because forced movement is super strong. What if they added like two bands a team or something for the matching competitive? What the fuck do you do when you get like a one trick on your team? Like, and you ban their character. And I don't know, that would just be so bad for the game. It makes it so inconsistent. Which might be good for... I'm just going to talk for first point. You don't mind it because you're not a Zen player? You're going to watch out by doing because it sucks? No, it sucks. It sucks. But kill getting killed by a Brig as a Zen is even fucking dumber. Don't you agree? I love playing Brig because I'm trash. Like, people like that is exactly the why they made the character. Like, people who play Brig don't mind it, you know? Like, I was playing with the, or the, I don't know how to pronounce it. And he was just saying Brig and doing because he's been deleted. And he just plays Brig, you know? He's a sport player. No, yeah, she's still broken off. with one second shield bash. Think about it like this. When when Briggs stuns someone, are you dead before like seven seconds has passed when you get stunned? Yeah, you just fucking die, dude. You know? You're lucky to dive here, man. 100% right about all this. Please speak to Blizzard Overwatch League guys about this, especially the fact that this game has no replay system. Match history, if your lobby settings are fucked, you can't do much shit in terms of customized, like, yeah, V models and shit. It's unacceptable for an esports, especially like two old fucking years later. If pros don't openly start speaking about this publicly, we're going to never get basic features like the. Replay system and match history. Pro speak about this. We have been very, very, very hard on Blizzard from day one of Overwatch. We've been very, very hard on the changes. We have been very, very good at communicating with a Blizzard and like s letters and Discord channels existing entirely for Blizzard to see pro opinions and all that stuff. It, I don't, I don't think it really matters. A few changes have gone through, but it usually takes them six to seven months for their suggested changes to go through. Unfortunately, now we have Mendo. Eighty percent of my requested changes on characters have actually been implemented in the game. But 100% of those, it took longer than six months for the changes to be implemented from when I officially suggested it to Blizzard. Which, sure, like, wh who am I? But like, the fact that almost, well like, the 20% that didn't get put in, is I said to delete, um, I said delete Roadhog. <laughs> and then I, I made a compromise, don't delete Ho Roadhog, rework his hook and his heels like this. And then those changes are in the game. And just like, diva and shit like that. But the fact that like, every single suggestion that was realistic, I had actually imp got implemented in the, big the game, is good, I guess. But it took so long. 
And I feel like I'm not the only one that suggested these changes. So is like a lot of other pro players to share my opinions, you know? I think Mei is fine when she is played 1% of the time in the right situation. And I think banning Mei players for not playing her in the right situation is fine. I think that's good. I think that's healthy for a competitive environment. Where you have the character that like, oh my god, they're bringing out the Mei. That's so fucking big brain. In the right situation, in the right environment, on the right map, on the right point. And then we go, oh my god, they have a Mei Thor. We should ban him. I think that's really good.